Hello everyone, my name is Leila Hassini and I'm the Vice President of Programs at Global Fund for Women. It truly is an incredible time to be working for a global feminist fund because providing resources to women's rights movements is one of the most powerful ways we can support social change and address power imbalances. Today, women, girls, and trans people face tremendous challenges, as you all know. But history shows us that where there is oppression, there is also great resistance and resilience. We are fortunate at Global Fund for Women to hear about such stories in our work every day and to partner with women, girls, and trans people to amplify their voices, speak their truths, and advance positive change, both locally and globally. In conversation with our global advisors, our grantee partners, donors, and sisters in the movement, we heard an urgent call to address key issues in light of global trends, including the change in U.S. government leadership and rising nationalism and conservatism that we're seeing across the globe. So we reflected, we evaluated, and we refined our priorities, and we would like to share them with you. We envision a world where all women, girls, and trans people have the power and rights over their bodies and sexualities and the resources they need to exercise those rights. The reinstatement of the U.S. administration's global gag rule and rising fundamentalisms in many parts of the world has eroded the most basic services and rights access to contraception, to safe and legal abortion, to HIV services, and to comprehensive sex and health education are all under attack. So how will we respond? We will resist rollbacks of our rights that are the result of decreased U.S. funding for sexual and reproductive health and other oppressive and discriminatory laws and policies. We will resist efforts to criminalize abortion and limit access to contraception and work towards comprehensive sexuality education and life-saving medications and services for all. We will oppose discrimination against those with non-conforming sexual and gender identities. We envision a world free of violence against women, girls, and trans people in all its forms. We fund efforts against all levels of gender-based violence, state-sanctioned violence, threats from fundamentalist forces, and intimate partner violence. We will resist laws that condone state violence and support laws that protect the rights of women, girls, and trans people. We will demand accountability from perpetrators of violence. We will support activists basic right to safety and security. And we will challenge the influence of growing fundamentalist and extremist voices. We envision a world where all women, girls, and trans people have a voice and a choice in the work they do, where they are paid equal wages in safe and secure workplaces, and where they have access to justice and rights. Issues of economic and climate justice disproportionately impact women, girls, and trans people. There are great disparities in pay and opportunities. Women factory workers and domestic workers face some of the most egregious forms of abuse. And climate change places a greater burden on women and girls, including access and control over natural resources. So how will we respond? Together with our grantee partners, we will support garment workers to end gender-based violence in factories. We will advance accountability mechanisms for domestic workers. We will support indigenous groups who are resisting land grabs and threats to their livelihoods. And we will support the advocacy efforts of women and girl farmers to have control over resources and advance sustainable models of production. Our work continues to be grounded in our feminist values and practices. We strive to always center those who most face injustice and marginalization, recognizing that individuals experience intersecting forms of discrimination across race, class, gender, ability, and sexuality, to name a few. 
We recognize that no one size fits all. We must tailor our grant making to the realities of each context and the needs of our grantee partners. We believe in the power of collective organizing and will support leaders, organizers, and movements advancing social change. And finally, we believe that we're all part of the solution. We thank each of you for doing the work you do to support gender equality and justice and to advance human rights for all the world's women, girls, and trans people. Thank you so much.